Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Uh, last couple of uh, days we have been doing some PFSense videos and when you talk about PFSense, eventually you also have to going to talk about OpenSense. So today I'm going to give you an overview of OpenSense and uh, we just got it running inside this virtual uh, machine environment. So here is OpenSense and standard out of the box, the username is root. Password is open, OPN, sense, and you hit enter. And this is the installation uh, wizard, basically. So we will go through this together. Um, so general setup, host name, domain, if you are on a domain, language, DNS servers, we talked about this earlier in our previous videos, you can set up an open DNS server, uh, 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 Google DNS, or any other DNS that you want. Uh, if you leave it default, then it will use the DNS settings from your ISP, your internet service provider. Override DNS settings here, yes. Enable this resolver, yes. You can also enable DNS sec support. Um, or outbound, uh, unbound DNS. Let's continue. Time server, just to make sure that your system is uh, up to date. Various time zones here. Next, pretty basic. Um, if you want to set up DHCP for IPv4, it's possible. Uh, then uh, this OpenSense machine can also function as a DHCP server. Um, you can fill in more information here. Uh, the IP range, uh, the DHCP host name for the, the for the server, various other settings, uh, and this is basically the same that you saw in the, in PFSense as well, uh, and that makes sense because the guys from OpenSense and PFSense started out together, uh, and eventually you know they split up in two separate projects, but this is actually the same that you see in, in PFSense as well, so. We are going to enable this next. Um, this is the IP address for the gateway. You see here the same. So this is fine. Subnet mask. Um, so the IP range can be from 1 to 100. So 100 devices can uh, um, connect. Root password, leave empty to keep the current one. I would always change it. But now for the sake of this tutorial, I'll keep it default. Uh, next. Reload. So this is really the basic configuration. Uh, let's see. System. I have to do a little bit of checking. LAN. I want to see the interface. I want to see the dashboard. This is what I wanted to see. Yes. So here we are. We have the services running here. So DHCP, uh, open SSH server, we can restart the servers, we can close it if we don't need it. I'm running a live CD mode at the very moment, so I can I make? Yes, I can. That, that means that basically it's live, it's not really saving anything. What you see is what you get. Um, but I can close certain services, I can start it again, things like that. The web GUI, if you want to only connect to SSH, for instance, uh, to the server, do update and do settings, it's all possible because then you will see this. And you can also log in like this. I'll show you. So, yeah. Root, open sense. And here you see the LAN IP, and you see on WAN I don't have an IP, so I don't have internet access on this machine currently. So it's uh, I can't check for, check for updates, for instance. Uh, I can't download the uh, firewall rules, at least not yet. Um, so here you have options. You can set uh, if you say, for instance, I want to set an interface for the uh, I want to set an IP address for the LAN interface. It's possible. You select here the interfaces and you continue. So LAN configure DHCP, you can set it all up. Let me back out of here. So that's if you want to disable the web GUI, but I like this better with a dashboard. 
Uh, so interfaces, we have LAN and WAN. WAN is probably not active. Enable. Let's go back to LAN because that one is for sure it's working. Block these BOGO networks. Static IP. Can we save this? I'm sure we can save it, but again, this is a live CD. Apply settings. So this is a software overview of uh, OpenSense. You saw my previous video about PFSense. OpenSense is a little bit different, but not much actually. There's also a firewall. You can set up a VPN here, either by IPsec or by uh, OpenVPN. It has various services here. Um, what else can we have? Do we have packages available? Wizard Trust, firmware, access, users. Just a second. High availability. This is probably has to do with, uh, let me just check. Backup firewall, reporting, trust settings. Other, I don't see software packages here. Reporting. Mm, backups, configuration, status, gateways. Ah, here you can have multiple gateways, for instance, if you have um, a load balancer, if you have multiple internet connections, uh, multiple ISPs, because if one uh, internet connection fails, then you can uh, have a, you know, a, a backup. So it can all be set up from here. Wizard log files. It's a little bit different, and to be honest, I'm not very familiar with it yet, but I will do some videos on it. I will do some comparison video between PFSense and OpenSense, uh, but this is just for you guys to get to know the software. Firewall, various rules, rules for the LAN interface, rules for the WAN interface, traffic shaper, so... Um, quality of service basically if you have a lot of VoIP calls and also downloads on the background then uh, this uh, firewall this firewall this appliance will give a higher priority to uh, voice over IP packets instead of uh, download traffic basically you can you can set your quality of service here and that's uh, quite nice especially if you don't have a lot of bandwidth so to summarize OpenSense is also a firewall appliance um, just like PFSense it just in a different package and uh, in the next couple of videos we will uh, show you how the firewall works how the ids and the ips works and we'll do a comparison video between the two um, i will have to dig into this software a little bit more to give you a good um, comparison between the two because i'm more familiar with pfsense but i think it will be a challenge and um, on the looks of it it's almost the same kind of software but I will, uh, I will have to uh, be able to explain the slight um, difference between the two uh, systems and which system might be more useful for you in a particular situation. So thanks for this first uh, video here and to, to stick us uh, around as long as you did. And this will be a new series uh, on OpenSense. And after that, we'll move on to uh, Kali Linux. So thanks uh, for sticking around and uh, thank you for subscribing to this channel. And we hope to catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.